the party. Had to pick up a Mari. 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 Had to pick up a What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Afzardi Podcast. We're back in this Thursday night at 8 p.m. And I'm sorry y'all living back to your house like all the time. And I'm going to skip all what I be saying usually because I'm just ready to get right into this interview. You know the vibes, y'all. I don't do one-on-one interviews for real. So if I do a one-on-one interview, I'm really about to ask you some questions. And, you know, in 2024, y'all know I used to be like, I don't have a script. I don't have questions pre praying. Look at this. Oh, shit. We got cue cards and shit. We got cue cards. That f- good is so heavy, head on the floor. You know what I'm saying? But like always, y'all got somebody with me who gonna pop their. F- he gonna rock out. He said no questions off limits. He said I can ask whatever the f- I want to ask. And I'm practicing on my interview shit because you know we trying to get Netflix deals and MTV deals and all that. Shit. I gotta you know do better at my job. So welcome to the. I see it, the after you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, Let's what's know who you on, is. Man. What's your name, man? Sure the dang. Big dang. Whatever y'all want to call me. Everybody know me about dang, because you call me. I'm excited to be on the show. I'm curious to know what he got to ask with. Let's do it. Ain't never been scared of nothing. But like always, you got to take a shot before we get started. So go ahead and take a shot. I got the donkey. We're about to act a donkey. So. Nah, facts. Get out. Salute, man. Give me a shot. I ain't trying to hit it. All that old Y'all be acting like I don't be drinking. I do be drinking. Bye. All that old scripts. You got to pour the shot. Cheers, them at home. Clink, 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 clink. There you go. Just clink. All right, so basically, who are you? What makes you just like a hot topic? I had posted your invite. When I post people invites, nobody really swipes up on them. They hard them, but they don't ever swipe up. When I tell you a lot of people swiped up to the point where I had to lucky pre prep some questions and Screenshots, I got screenshots for you too. So we might end the live because I gotta get my phone to show you some screenshots. Okay, that's cool. Got a lot to show you actually. I'm not gonna lie, I know they talking this. That's what they yeah. Do. They you delete a comment off your invite post? Yeah, because they be talking mm-hmm. this. I saw hey, it. You got to, but um, I don't know. I'm just a people person. Since I was 16, I knew everybody in the city. Mm-hmm. I kind of had my little glow up like 2017, 2018. After that, I kind of started selling cars to everybody everywhere, from here, Louisiana, New York, Memphis. I started linking in with a bunch of up-and-coming celebrities who was big-time celebrities now, so I got a lot of friends in the industry. Um, how you met all these people? I just, how did I know them from selling vehicles? They just came word of mouth. It started out for me going to buy a vehicle at a certain car lot. They told me they'll give me $300 for every person that I send them. I was actually working in the chemical plant at the time. Yeah. And shit, it just went from there. I, the first week I ever started doing the referrals, I sold like 27 cars that they liked. So it was like 300 times 27. I ended up paying my car off in like two months of me selling cars just off of referrals. So after that, I'm like, I need the money now. So like my car is paid off. I done sent you all these people. How does it work where I get my $300 in chicks and not on car notes? And it just started from there. I linked in with a Jew. Once we locked in, he introduced me to our, a Which? Jew. A Jewish person. Oh, okay, yeah. No, we're not doing the Kanye shit. I love everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, come on, nigga. I want my show, bro. I love everybody, but I'm just saying, I linked in with a Jew, the Jew in Houston. I don't know. I ain't going to say his name because he real private, but he ended up putting me in relationships with a bunch of Turkish partners, a bunch of Arabic partners, and I just went from there. I went to they lot, to this lot, to this lot. Every time I proved myself, and, you know. All right. You know, I always be good, but when stuff be bad, you got to stand on your team, and that's it. All right, and you are from Houston, right? I am from Houston. I'm what from 4,000. Right. Scott and Bartbury, 4141. <laughs> All right, let's get into good. it. All right, so my first question I got for you, what is one negative thing that's on your name that you want to like people to stop thinking? I'm not going to lie. I made a few mistakes in my uh, lifetime. During COVID, um, I had a few. I'm, y'all call them green beans. I'm going to call them green beans, too which was not right. I'm not going to go in detail about it, but I did some things that I shouldn't have done. And at the end of the day, I did the time for it. I'm back free. It's no problem. It's nothing else to talk
they really don't know the situation with my ex, so they kind of got that on my name, like I'm just a violent person. Everybody that know me know I'm not violent. I'm a fun person. I'm a good person. I'm a good person to be around. Um, another thing is, you know, they <laughs> they say that I, um, how do I want to word this? Say it, man. Man, well. I kind of did a little something like I say that I wasn't supposed to do. I did that, and that kind of got attached to my name. And now I'm working on getting that off my name. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go in detail. Next question. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> so who do you think hates you more, women or men? Uh, like, what must your hate definitely. come from? You think so? I have more women friends than men. The reason being is because... No swiped up about you. It was only... I have a lot of female friends, and, they gonna, and then I have a lot of female enemies, yeah. if that makes sense. I'm not the average local joker. I probably didn't have six. I'm going to be honest with about 500 women in my lifetime. You get tested? I had a six to seven, six to seven year run of whoever I wanted, I swiped up and they swiped in if that made sense. So, you know, I'm not really concerned about the negative because they just mad probably because they can't even get no dick no more or they not getting flu out no more or they not getting the things I normally give. All right. So would you call yourself like a, a, a giver or a trick? I'm not going to say a trick. I definitely would say a giver. If we locked in, if we locked in, for sure, for sure, I'm going to take care of you. What's the maximum amount of money you spent on a bitch? All together, like the time we was together? Maybe like- Not nah, like one item. Like one item? Like 25000 What you about? Investing in her business. Does she still have a business now? I don't know what she got going on now. That's so you just drive like, investing in business. That's definitely your business. We was locked in, though. Okay, so like when you invest somebody, right, you give your time to somebody, y'all separate. You don't feel no type of way? That's like, the one thing I learned. When you separate, it's over. The trips don't matter. The purses don't matter. The don't matter. None of that shit matter. Once you separate, you're separated. So you, you don't have no ties to nobody? You have no ties whatsoever right now. In this year, in 2024, I really want to be inaccessible. The money, that's what we're going to get. That's for sure. I done always had money. I done always got me some money. Every time, no matter what came my way. At the end of the day, this go round, I kind of just want to be inaccessible to everybody. That make people and, want you more, though. Exactly. They make their <laughs> look. I'm sorry. You said that. You could. I said <laughs> I don't want to make they, you know, I'd rather <laughs> to get wet off of seeing me than actually being in my presence, if that makes sense. Fact. So do you feel like you having all these female friends? So, like, when I saw you recently, you was with, like, to me, you was with, like, two very attractive people, right? Uh -huh. Do you feel like that prevents you from getting the females you want, or does that help you get the females you want? Not necessarily. I feel like... I can go out with my friends and have a good time. I honestly do not care about the public's opinion right now. Like, you can say whatever it is you what want to say. What made you like that, though? On the way here, I got $6,000 sent to me. Like, I'm not worried about nothing nobody have going on. Like, I know how hard it is for money these days. I know how hard it is right now. Speaking that we just came out of this PPP where everybody was walking around with $50,000 on them. Now they got 50 cents in their pocket. You understand what I'm saying? And I learned... When life give you mashed potatoes, it still fill you up. When life give you steak, it still fill you up. It just fill you Type up a shit. little longer. So take whatever life give you. And when life get the life in life, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. All right, so let's get into it. You got kids? Um, I have one daughter. My baby mama is dead. 500 women, only one kid? One kid. I supposed to have seven, but I paid for six abortions. So. Okay. So I supposed to have seven kids. So. For sure. Abortions, how many plan Bs? Sponsor you. Sponsor you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Okay, cool. So with all. So like, wait, how old is your? We have a daughter. Or something? My daughter is almost ten. She's nine right now. Okay, but so like, um, when you went to, when you went to jail and stuff like that, mm -hmm. right? How was that for her? Like, did she understand you was in jail? Um, I'm not gonna lie. So when I go into a detail about it a little bit, I came home. My baby mama was shot in the head. I found her in my apartment. Um, I don't really talk about this, but I talk about this because everybody want to hear my side of the story, why I don't have my daughter every day. And more of the story is when my child was born, I went to the hospital. My baby mama had my daughter name under Chloe, Jan Chloe something Childs. It was different. I changed her name in the, in the split second when I walked in the hospital. The lady went back to leave with the birth certificate to go change the birth certificate. More of the story is that she didn't come back till the next day. The next day, they was already checking her out. So when they signed, when she signed the new birth certificate, I was not there to actually sign it. So when my baby mama died, her sister, which I don't take nothing from, I appreciate everything she has done these past couple of years on helping me with my daughter and basically keeping her, got yeah. the custody of her. I've really been having a hard time going through custody battle right now as it is trying to get her. I don't really want to go in detail with what I have going on with my lawyer in the background because it's just going to fall on their lap and fall on their desk. But at the end of the day, it's been hard. Like, it has not been easy being able to be in communication. Her birthday was just December 29th, like. That's my that's my dog. Like I love my baby like more than anything. That's why I want a son so bad. So you know, if anybody want to be a surrogate and make them a little money, surrogate. 
Yeah, you heard what I said. Why is Eric? Because I don't got time for the extra that come with it. All the extra miss. You just get want your son 20, to yourself. Twenty five thousand. Let him come with me. That's it. And I feel like that's more than fair. For sure. I got some cousins. So I ain't gonna lie His to you. His name gonna be winner. Because <laughs> he a winner. Okay, for cool. Sure. So when you think about the hate and things like that, right? So mm-hmm. I feel like what I saw was most of your negativity came from women. But I feel like a lot of a niggas wouldn't probably swipe up my story because they know like they ain't trying to tell a because you. But I feel like. Do you feel like any of these women are plotting on you right now? I feel like they are. That's why I'm so consecrated right now, if, if I can use any word. But I mean, like, pussy plotting on you. Like, they trying to get pregnant by you. Uh, they ain't getting no raw dick. And, and, it's, and since I've been home since Thanksgiving, I really only had mingled the Just f- came home? I just came home. We back like we never. <laughs> I'm talking about 75K fast. That way. We don't play the- that's why when I saw you, I was like, the last two years, I've only been out four months. I really don't care. These are not for two years and still ain't got going on. So I don't really want to do no popping that shit. That's not the time for this in 2024. No, We're at the episode already. No, because these, <laughs> they ain't having enough. So let me, ask you about, like, let me ask you a question about situations yes, I feel like people that I know. Mm-hmm. I feel like people go to jail and they come back thinking, I feel like people go to jail for stealing pizza and they come back act like they went to jail for killing people. Mm-hmm. I heard every story you can possibly hear in jail. Every tank I went into, I was dead. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being real. Like That's cool. people knew me everywhere I went to. But you have a personality um, where I feel like you can't miss you type people's person. So yeah, at the end of the club. day, I love people, and I love to communicate with people, and I love to know what's on somebody's mind besides sitting there looking crazy type shit. Vibe like I like the vibes. Like you gonna come tonight? We gonna have a good time. We just vibe. That's what go on. So even in these tanks with these dudes, what I've been seeing going on in the prison and jail, everybody's just misleading each other. They like, what you mean? Yeah, well, keep doing that. Keep doing this. No, why am I gonna tell you to co- go break in the ATM? And I know for sure they be telling them to keep going doing that. Shit? They think because they get two hundred fifty thousand in one night, and then I'll be like, so how long did you have the money? What did you do with the money? Blah 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 blah. I'm going down in detail with them, and nobody done. It's gone. Oh, the lawyer got it. Oh, my girl got it. Oh, she ran off on me. I don't got time for that. Like, I'm not getting no call with nobody. I'm sticking to the script. I know selling cars every year from January to April, I make about two hundred and fifty to 300000 Why would I get away from anything else? Like, why would I get away from Absolutely. anything else other than what made me? I really don't want to sell cars no more. Like, I got a protege. He up and coming. After tax season this year, I'm done. I'm so going into the do? houses. I'm going into the trucking company. I just got approved the 418. Like, I got so much on my plate right now, and I'm not big on this year just opening my mouth before the blessing or before yeah, the baby get birth. That's what we do sometimes. We be we open our mouth, go out and impregnate us with something, a gift, a sight, Zion's view, Zazardi, the after party. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we speak on it too early when we're not ready. So nah, then nah, we nah, have... Trust me. A premature baby. But at the end of the day, if you just shut your mouth up and let God do what he do, you can have it in the fullness and everything he got nah, for you. And that's why I'm here with it. So I feel like this. I'm going to go into like details. That's random as mm-hmm. go back. I got to go back more. I got to understand why you like why you are like you are. What's mm-hmm. your relationship with your parents? My relationship with my mother and my father is very imperative to me. I feel like that is so serious to have a strong relationship with your parents. They are not married, but they my parents. And I can call for them for anything. Actually, they don't want to put the money together because they couldn't get access to my funds to be able to get me out this last time. And then, of course, when you get out, mama not playing, she need that money in her hand. For sure. You understand what Plus I'm saying? But extra. it is what it is, and I appreciate them. I could never take nothing from My daddy is 17 years in the feds. Before he left, he was that <laughs> He got out, he had a hard time coping into society to be able to understand that it's okay to start over. That's what's wrong with us. We do not want to start over. We think starting over is rock bottom. Starting over is sometimes part of the process to go out to take you I don't think starting new. over is even starting over. I think it's just more so like uh, like you getting another chance of doing something. Not starting over. I feel like sometimes people think of starting over is do something totally different. Mm-hmm. Like say if I mm-hmm. the pocket like last year, I probably mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. a lot of times. I don't mm-hmm. think I started over. I learned my lesson. I kept going. Exactly. I feel like I'll never go back to zero. Right? At the end of the day, I feel like if you don't learn from your mistakes, you're going to continue to make the same mistakes. So, also, I feel like if you don't pay attention to be very protective of what it is that God blessing you with, like this, for and instance, too. if you don't, like, take precaution with this, then it'll get out of control. Last it'll year I was careless. Exactly. Was careless you was careless. Year. You was just doing something. Mm-hmm. But now God has showed you a vision, and now look where it then took you. And then he got, you t- like you just talked about, Netflix deals and all this. Look what God took you. Look at this wild. It's signed up right now. Nah, you, got, you done had them n****s, them people, them women come in here and talk to you. That means a lot. Like, that's not something. I don't take my time. I got 30-something podcasts. I went and looked because I just wanted to say, 
how many people gonna be mad after this? Cause they didn't ask me, hey, I'll pay you this, I'll do this, I'll do this. I can. Only reason I came to this one in particular is because it was a little shade throw my way on this particular platform. And, and I just wanna clear my name. Redo it. I'm a good Get into right. that too. We'll get into that too. But let's yeah. uh, let's take a shot. First of all, let's take a shot. <laughs> shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Sure. I'm on the donkey and I'm gonna act a donkey <laughs> with my boy. <laughs> He's gonna make me start just buying it. Only. I'm gonna tell everybody only get there. Buy this. Only get this. Hey, I'm telling you. Huh? No, it never gave. Huh? It never gave. Them. They want to What's up, y'all? Why you put the cup? Take a shot. We gonna fill it up, and we still got a party tonight. <laughs> You said I'm at the after party. I'm gonna do the after party for real after this. Salute. Cheers, man. Cheers. It's a little ah. Cause chill. I like she supposed to be here just chilling. Like y'all is stupid. Let's go. You asking the right questions right now. I like what you asking for sure, for sure. Nah, cause I really want the people to know what's going on. So you a dad? So basically, I feel like this. So how do you feel about? You don't well, not in your situation because you explained your situation right. So I'm speaking mm -hmm. on in general. N don't take care of their kids. Social media dads. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a n is trifling who don't take care of his kids. But at the end of the day, with my situation, I feel like it has been hard to be in my child's life because they I'm have made you have it no hard. choice though. They have made it hard. But at the end of the day, I'm doing, I'm taking the proper measures and the proper mitigations that I need to take in order to ensure that my daughter is in my life. And that's it. And she have told me out her mouth, Dad, I want to go with you. Dad, I love you. Like, any sign if you saw that um, the person who is her caretaker right now was not fit, would you tell about it to get her? I don't really want to go in detail about that. We can talk about anything Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, you can, you can, okay, okay. We're because gonna I got, like, a legal situation okay. going on right We're now. We're going to all and, that. And, and, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, all I'm going to say about my daughter is I want her to be with me. And that's it. Can I give you hypotheticals? Um, hypothetically it's speaking. It's about Boosie, though. No, not that, not that. Oh, okay. Don't answer it. It's okay. about something that Boosie said. But okay, come on. Okay. Let's go. So Boosie said that he would be okay <laughs> with his daughter getting cheated on several times, but as long as you don't whoop her ass. I probably would agree with Boosie. I would rather you cheat on her than whoop her ass, because then you got to deal with me. And then when you deal with me, it's going to be on a whole nother level. But if your daughter got cheated on, would you tell her to leave? I've, of course. Really? Of course. Have you cheated on women? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right, you want to stun money? All right, so cool. So then why would you like... Why do you, do you feel like the way you treat women is the same way, like, you allow your daughter to get treated? The nowadays, way I treat today, women today, now today, is today. a little different from Facts. the way I treated women then. It's called growth, bro. You cannot stay in the same spot and be in the same place and treat people the same way. Once you learn, like, like I was telling you earlier, once you learn you made a mistake, learn what it is that you did up until that to make the mistake. And then once you are familiar with those behaviors... You'll never go live. You'll never live that back up, or you'll never live that back down. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying. So you got to protect your space again. What I'm talking about. So okay, so I feel like a lot of people wait till they get money to be like, okay, when I get money, I'm gonna get a lot of <laughs> type. Shit. I'm from build a build <laughs> workshop. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> this day, I'm from build a <laughs> workshop. Like I'm okay with as long as you got a pretty face, we can buy some. T's. We can buy some. T's. We can't buy a good personality. We can't buy good vibes. We can't buy. A good time. We can't. These we having teeth and ass. Teeth. Talk to a rat. Teeth. I'm not gonna say I talk to a rat, but like on a scale from like one to ten, like would you talk to a three? I would talk to a five, That's and we'll make you, fuck. and we'll make you a ten. It's okay if I really like you, I'm gonna do that for you because not only do I like you, but I acknowledge your insecurity. So if you're insecure about your teeth being long, if you're insecure about your booty being long. I'm gonna take care of you on okay. that if I know for sure you got my back. So it's a little different. You got to. Like, it's a little requirement to get these coins, too. So, <laughs> just like it's a requirement to get that. All right, would you ever sell, would you ever, like, let your girl, like, sell some? It depends on how much. A million. A million? Mm -hmm. So, to the marriage, <laughs> the <words> <laughs> Okay, uh, 10,000. Well, 10,000. So to the man with the brazen his head. Okay, I don't give a sure. fuck. It don't matter about me having no lot of money. Ten more thousand for five, fifteen minutes, that's okay with me. Shit. I, but the women be mad because I'm open. I'm not gonna lie. I go to a swings club. I'm a, I'm really like a open soul. So a lot of people don't really the like how club, I am. Club? Huh? Swingers club, meaning where you okay. in the club type shit. Okay, and you can swing shit. with his wife and she can swing with your wife type they shit. They had that out here? Yeah, it's called the Pendulum fourteen four four eight Hempstead Road Wednesday the address is crazy. to Saturday. If you want to come, you might see me there. That's it. I like to have a good time. Make sure you come in lingerie with a nice little pea coat on. You know you gonna have a good time. Okay, cool. I love that. Shout out to y'all. Sponsor me. Hey man. All right, so I feel like this. So when we deal with different things, let's get into the nitty gritty. You know what everybody wanna know.
that. Um, I'm gonna skip what I want to talk about. Mm. Um, so when I posted you, where I want to go? I'm gonna let you do it. Relationships or your business? <laughs> relationships first. first. Relationships first. <laughs> All right, so. I'm gonna do my job. I'm gonna do how I do it. You do your job, and I'm gonna tell you. But counsel. off camera, we still gonna have a great yeah, time. Okay, we can't. My job, okay. Don't try some of my heart. Try some of my job. The donkey, I'm gonna act a donkey. Show. I keep Why saying. Why you be lying like that? I didn't be her. Ass. We fought she on live. She showed me pictures. Listen, man. See, did I, can I show you the pictures? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Say no more. Okay. But now, I can't okay, show you right now. You see on my live. Like, show, but, yeah. but listen, listen. Let me tell you something. About relationships and what people don't understand. They only post what they want people to see. They never post when they do bad. Mm -hmm. For sure. I done got the sh out of me. I don't really want to talk about Lauren that much, but we're going to keep this real short and sweet. Mm -hmm. Just know she be my ass when I be her bitch How real. many times can I bitch take real. be my ass for real? Like, bitch, bitch, bitch. That's that booty meat. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like, that's some booty tea. Like, yeah, yeah come bro. here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Okay, so, let's, look, so we're going to pause on there real quick. We're going to get back to that, but I want to talk about a topic around what but you see, said. then you're going to make her start posting all this I think she, she ain't posting nothing right now. She did back. Yeah, I know what she is. She got her feet cocked up. God bless. But one thing I know, two things for sure. This short say non reactive, non reactive, non reactive. So I'm not fucking with nobody. She don't got herpes. Listen, you don't know what she got. She don't got herpes. This man say she got, he got it. So what she got? She don't got that. She... I'm just saying, I'm not with all this. So man, you, let me ask a question podcaster. about what you said. Let me ask a question so about what you said. Okay, so men you. who get domestic violence, do you believe men can go to domestic violence? Hell yeah. yeah. We all get right. our right. beef before we beat the ass. We only beat that when they really, really start beating but when beating your ass, is a woman beating you, like, how does that look? Listen, I'm more so a funny person. So when a nah, bitch beat, like, like, like he bit in the kitchen, bitch ass, whole ass, I'm laughing. So that makes them mad. Yeah, makes, yeah, yeah they make them mad. So I be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. And then laughing? they come right in. <laughs> Here they go slapping the out of me. Do it like, hurt? Ah, so it then hurt. you're not getting your ass beat. Ah, hold on, can I finish? Then you What's finish? up, my bad, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, slap. <laughs> That's the booty meat. Slap. <laughs> he trying to eat them. That's the booty cheese. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. That's what they be doing. Keep going until you... I don't really beat up. I'm going to rough your ass up, though. I'm going to shake your ass up. You're not going to keep slapping the shit out of me. No, rule number one, when I first started talking to a female, and 500 y'all know, don't put your hands on me. I'm not going to put my hands on you. 500 y'all know. That's crazy. Okay, I get it. Go How ahead. is that crazy? I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying, when you lit, you turned up, you outside. Every night, you wake up. Four women here, six women here, eight women here. Three, two, one, you know, it just be like that. I'm for real. I don't walk up in the bed like, who are y'all? What the f? <laughs> I feel yeah, it. Yeah, God is good. I'm going to work. Type shit. Okay, <laughs> so have you ever caught an STD? STD? No reactive, no reactive. Has something right. ever said reactive? Like two times in my life. It said reactive. Same. Yeah. It's okay. Like, you me four pink me. pills and a shot in my and put me on I never had the, the shot. It was just the pills. It was well, one, you supposed to got the shot popping. That's penicillin. That knocked everything out. You hear me? I had that. 2013, I'm good. Wait, not 13. I had that shit ninth grade. Yeah, and I had that shit like two years after ninth grade. Since then. Okay, let's talk about it. Have you ever fucked somebody knowing you had something? Hell, fuck no. You stopped. What? If I think I got something, we're going to that doctor. I'm going to be in the hoodie like this in Sunnyside Hill cleaning like, it's the booty nah, cheeks. That's where I went. I'm on Wait, no, what? I know that's where you went. I didn't see the few of them in there. Fuck you. <laughs> Sixteen ninety nine. No bullshit. And we all right. No, for real. <laughs> all right, so basically I feel like this when we did on like STDs and things like that, a lot, a lot of people That's dirty though. I'm not gonna lie to you. What I swear is? to God, it's the last STD I called, this what I did though. This what I did. Hey, baby, we finna go out on a day. Woo woo woo, blase, blase. Yeah, as soon as I got in the car, I'm not gonna lie, I'll be honest. <laughs> Lock the door, bitch. We're gonna go to the clinic. The people said, bring you with me, uh, my partner, so we can see what's going on. For sure. So do you, do you call everybody, like, when they have, uh, when they be like, hey, call everybody that you, you know what I'm saying? It's not that serious, because I don't have unprotected sex with more than one person at one time. No, like, when you had that, though, because I ain't lie, I ain't call. Brother, I keep that wrapped up. It's no, like, when you caught it, though, that one time. When I caught it, I knew who it was. What you mean? Oh, see. I'm not stupid. See, you was gets loose out here. You them booty I was in college. Teeth. I was you in college. Chill, though. I, I know in college. in college you have a lot of fun. Yeah. For sure. You but I feel like my situation, I caught it, but I didn't have sex. I got head. That's dirty than a bitch. That's why I look at these hoes' tongue, they teeth, they ass, they feet, <laughs> nigga they nails. I be looking at everything. Bitch, your tongue white as fuck, like something wrong. Like Okay, so when you're dealing with people in nowadays in 2024, right, do you feel like a woman needs to bring the, at least, well, you say you build a I feel like you saying that, but uh, not listen, really. Listen, when I say not I build really. a bitch, you got to bring something yeah, to the table. Yeah, but I feel like you really like, build a bitch. You got to have, no, I have built two, three of them. It's okay, teeth, teeth, and that 
TTA is what I call it. After this, they're going to TTA. So TTA. We got you. T-T-A. I'm going to try right here for you. Yeah, I got, I got all the doctors, my friends, you know. Okay. Whatever you want to do, we can do it. But, you know, you got to be loyal. If all you're right. not loyal, you're not getting none of that. Would you, uh, in 2024, would you fight somebody? Would I fight who? Oh, no, just like stick it out. Who else? Would you stick it out there? Hell yeah. What you mean? But why get out there and they going to grab a gun anyway? So I might as well shoot you. I said that yesterday. I, I was got mine they, with me. They was all judging me. I was like, just <laughs> the movie team. Just kill him. <laughs> and I go like, I'm, it's 22, I feel like, don't kill him. Shoot him in his leg. His knee, his foot. Shoot him in his leg. Paralyze him. If I shoot you, I'm going to shoot you. So it's no limit to where I'm going to go when I shoot you. So you just better pray. You better all right. So in your situation, brother. do you feel like a lot of people, like, do you judge people who, like the situation you say, right, who just rather shoot than fight? I don't. Because at the end of the day, when you get straight to the point. Why Fighting going to lead to it. Yeah, so right. we just going straight there. Would you fight a gay? Would I fight a gay? I know. I'm going to shoot him. Because there's no win. If I beat your ass, you, fall, you beat up a punk. If the punk beat my ass, you a punk beat you punk. up. Yeah, if shit. you shoot the punk, he should have left you, you alone. Who? That's what no, he said. still say. shot a gay Because he was tripping. I got gay partners. Uli is my boy. That's my baby. That's my little Uli to death. That's my baby. Like I wouldn't fight you. Nothing nothing I'm shooting Uli, bitch. Me and Eulis that fought. Yeah, what I'm sure. Sh- he know what's up. Yeah, I, I show you the video. She I got my phone. That, that hoe that squabbled. That's even. my baby. It had to be even because Eulis. But at the end of the day, I be you got to use. know his boundaries and his limits, and I know my boundaries and my limits. Like just like when we was out, me, her, him, cat, mm-hmm. Shay, we was just out having a good time. He was mad because I was getting on his little friend. <laughs> Why you ain't bought no shots? Why you ain't? He was mad at the. <laughs> she like bitch <laughs> playing my friend. He a regular. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> about him being regular. <laughs> this my friend. We gonna talk. So if you can't got tough skin and you can't come around me, then it is what it is. Okay, so let's go back. Like, you've been friends. Hold on, before I finish, me and you've been friends. You just sleep in my mama house. Me and you've been friends since like seventh grade, since Sperry, since No Car, since No Cardi B house, since No Beyonce house, since before everything. So like, yeah, you just practically used to stay with me. He know what's going on. That's real. I ain't gonna lie. It's my friend. I love him to death. I kind of figured that when you said Shay was your best friend, I was kind of like that must be like. Me and Shay been said. friends since like sixth grade. Type shit. Yeah, type shit. Rode the same school bus. That's my baby. I love her to So it makes you so giving. Because I feel like when I met you, I've I've met you twice, not the recent time, twice accidentally. Mm-hmm. And every time it was good vibes. I've never had a bad impression. That's when I saw you that time, I didn't feel no type Because you a n- would never go to no Because, like, n- cause, like, you always have good energy. So like, I feel like, should I go to you again? Because well, you I'm had good energy that day. I'm not going to lie. You so giving, told though. me this when I was young. Like, he just got a call on my life and... I have to deal with people. So at the end of the day, in ministry and doing anything, you have to learn how to deal with people in business. Would you be a youth pastor? Huh? Would you be a youth pastor? I mean, I think the end will lead to being a pastor. But at the end of the day, right now, I'm going through the process. You give me. And at the end of the day, you have to literally like understand the process to understand what God taking you to. I'm not trying to keep going to God, but that's who is my source right now. But you keep mentioning that, so it's like you give me like I like okay. So I used to be an educator, right? A teacher. Mm -hmm. You give me, like, somebody who I feel like if I was still teaching, I'd be like, hey, bro, come talk to the kids with me. Exactly. Like, when I worked at jobs, I done prayed and done stuff for this person. I done done it. Like, I don't know why my heart is like it is. I don't care about what nobody said. Like I told you, in 2024, they're going to see. They can't do nothing but get mad. Right now, I'm waiting on $25,000 just in the air, just waiting on different chicks, just different shit. I'm not boasting, bragging, capping. All that you be doing. You know, popping banks, chicks, breaking hearts. I'm not with none of that. I'm not hitting nobody. Grandma across the head, I'm literally working for my money. And in 2024, they're going to see. From the Do you truck just in, that rob? Huh? Do you just that rob? I don't just that rob because I, don't I was a robber at first. I don't just that pimp because I used to pimp. I had 70 toes at 18 in one house. Like Everything these have been done, I've been light years ahead of them at the end of the day. And that's why a lot of people draw to me because at the end of the day, God... Make it away. Are you in the 20s or 30s? Huh? Are you in the 20s or 30s? I'm 29. Or 30s? Sorry, okay, cool. Sorry. I got another year to Touch play it. with you. Birthday. Big up, birthday. For sure. Oh, this yeah. 30 is going down. You need to. Oh, it's going listen, down. Listen. You invited. For sure, sure. We outside. Yeah, we outside. All right, so when I look at everything about like uh, your We shit, outside this today. Is songs, okay? <laughs> you should be a DJ too. Ooh, be a DJ. No, All right, so I'm look at your situation and shit like that where I feel like let's get into it. So basically someone swiped up my story and said that they allegedly, everything's alleged, hypothetically, all that we all say, you mm-hmm. know, you bitch. Um, there is a thing that was sent to me that says that you sell cars, you put trackers in them, and you mm-hmm. have people go steal the cars after. Listen, that is 100% a lie. Number one, legally, I can't post your payment schedule. So if your car got repoed, it was either one or the two. 
you either didn't pay your car note on time or you didn't pay your insurance. This is easy. It's in-house they finance. They repo for no insurance? Listen, sweet. I mean, listen. Expect to happen. Big white Boston gonna jump out the car and jump in your car while you at Walmart with your groceries in the car and grab your car. It is what it is. Don't call me talking about, dang, my car is gone. Like, it is what it is. Like, I sell the car. So I don't own the car. Lot. With the person who I, the person we both know who said it because you swiped, you removed, removed it. Did you tell them that? Guaranteed I told them that. So why are they still saying that? They want to talk shit. They want to do anything. And I told them a lot. I swiped up. I swiped up. Once they call, ask them. Once they car like, is gone and they got no more money, now they in their feelings. Now, we, I'll pay $1,500 to get my car back. It's not my car. The car's gone, right? Completely. This is not my car. This is these a cars. Mm -hmm. They think I own the dealership. I know I pop my shit. I, I, ma I make a lot it. of money because I, I'm, I sell 100 to 150 units a month. So that's roughly like forty to $50,000 a month. I have not made no less than $30,000 a month in the past six years. Like, I hustle. And I got receipts. You want to see? 680, 2020, 745, 2021. So then, okay, like, so remember okay. I asked you the first question about the whole negative stereotype about your name, right? Mm -hmm. So... When I I didn't I didn't speak to you that day, I ain't gonna lie to you. But like on the boat when we was on a boat party, right? Mm -hmm. We randomly end up combining our boat parties ten. type shit, mm -hmm. and um, you end up just paying for the boat type shit. Everybody had their money already, but you just pay for the boat, and like everybody went from like automatically instead of just acknowledging it, like okay, like maybe he do work, sell cars, do things. Mm -hmm. They was instantly called like, oh, he a scammer, yeah. and it was like, why can't people accept that you do your job? Man, listen, man, just wait on the post. I'm waiting to pop my. Sh I've been waiting intentionally since Thanksgiving. I haven't posted a picture. I did, I deleted it. It's not that serious. Yeah, They'll see lie. what's going on. I was going to tell you that today. You need my pictures, bro. Yeah, I'm not worried I about I struggle that. with the graphics with you. I mean, listen, I got a lot of pictures, but I just don't post them. I could have sent you a whole bunch of updated shit. Well, I'm I need not <laughs> with these people being in my business right now. This is the year of Willie Williams. I gave but you deserve every that. other you year. Deserve that. Every yeah. other year, I made almost a million dollars. I gave it to everybody else. This is the year I'm gonna make sure I'm okay. I'm in Bora Bora for uh, spring break, not spring break. I'm in Bora Bora for Valentine's Day. I'm in Jamaica with my family for spring break. Like I'm with whatever they are. I've been in Jamaica six times. FYI, I'm Jamaica. just going with my family because they want to go there. But I'm not really caring what nobody else got going on. So in what was city. your biggest heartbreak when you went to jail that you realized about your friends, people that I you realized that people only love you when you're in their face. Yeah. Damn. When you're not in their face, it's not as serious. When you're not in their face, they can't squirm in the chair. Even with these women. When you're not in their face, that <laughs> is not really a 12-inch. <laughs> that is a 5 inches when you're not right there. No, I'm being real. That money is not 500000 That money is like $2,000 when you're not in their face. So at the end of the day, this is what I learned. If I got to be in your face for you to love me, I don't want to deal with you. So I cut off like all my fingers to save my thumb. I ain't lying to you. Everything gone right here. It looked like I got all my fingers. But I literally yeah. cut off everything, and I told myself, this time I'm not going to be salty. I'm not going to be bitter. When I come home, I'm just going to do my big one. Right now, I could post $75,000. Mm -hmm. Right now. But for what? What is, what, for what? Mm -hmm. What do I need everybody in my business for? I learned that a long time ago. I used to be so flashy. I never let, had less than $20,000 on me at any time. I need these cars to do the talking. Wherever we go, it's going to be paid for. It's nothing else to talk about. And even then. Oh, I got something to say to you. Okay, even so then, I was a real. I just love people. I could have got money out of everybody on that boat, right? Nah, facts. Facts. But for what? Here. But for what? I know you had your money. Okay. I'm not <laughs> saying you did. I'm just saying uh, it's not about the money with me. If we locked in, but you also like okay, nothing I wouldn't do for you. This is weird. Okay, I want to say this, but I know how this will sound. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's a true statement. So yeah. you get weird. Okay, my dad is a giving person, right? He mm -hmm. does that same shit, like the same shit you did. Like my dad be like, "Oh, it's cool. Everybody just don't worry about it." Like type shit, cause my dad yeah. work hard. Type shit. So I feel like it's more it's like even with me, like I'm a giving person too. It's like okay, like don't worry about it. It's okay, like whatever. Like we, I just be want to have fun, type shit. And I don't want to make nobody feel like oh they can't have fun, cause I want to have fun, type mm -hmm. shit. So I feel like a lot of times, do you ever feel like people have took uh, advantage of that situation? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, let me tell you something. It said give. I'm sorry I'll keep going to the Bible, but this is why I'm in with it right now. If that's you, that's it say give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, meaning a fast shell, pressed down, shaking together and running over some men being to your bosom. So at the end of the day, it's not about what they do. It's about you releasing it out of your hand. Because once you release it out of your hand, God said it'll be given back to you tenfold. Meaning if you give a thousand, he'll give you ten thousand back if you just be obedient. But you got to listen and know when it's God and when it's the devil speaking. 
because then you'll give it to the wrong hands. Well, how you be knowing for that speaking? Huh? You, you gotta listen. You gotta have a, re a relationship, just like you was talking about a relationship with a woman. A relationship with God is the same way. You gotta learn his favorite color. You gotta learn his voice. You gotta learn what he likes. Did you to get do. this from when locked up? Or was I got you always this like a, this. Like I've been a spiritual person since I was a young like dude. So at the end of the day, this last two years have really been me seeking God for just something new. I always knew. It's like all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and to those that are called according to his purpose and his plan. And I know for sure I'm called. I know for sure I love him. So all things got to work together for my good, even the bad stuff. That's what people don't understand. Then it says, like, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness and everything you want to be added on to you. Meaning in every situation, in every aspect of your life, if you put God first, even if it's bad, it got to turn good. Because his word will never return unto him void. Meaning he is not a God that he'll lie. So what he say is law. Facts. Okay. I ain't trying to go that way, Make but that. I'm just telling you. You want to talk, we're going to talk. Come on, let's take communion then. Yeah, we can take communion. Let the hey, church shout out. Hey. say amen. <laughs> so I feel like this is a situation that we're dealing with, right? Mm -hmm. So what was your natural reaction when you saw the podcast about you? My natural reaction, I'm going to be honest, in my heart was I need to go talk with my because these people definitely don't know me. And, you know, it's two sides to every story. It's really three sides to every story, but it's two sides to every story. And I got my own little... Can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. We talking about why did you be her? Ass? I didn't be okay, her. Ass. So ass we're doing this. Okay, no, 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 we're not doing that. No, 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 I'm not. No, no, no. Okay, did she beat your? Hell you said yeah. it already. Yes. Okay, cool. Man, this girl slept me. I slept. 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 Park the car. Slip, uh, slip. Park the car. What did Daisy? you do? Huh? What did you do? <laughs> no, no, no. What did you do to have that happen? <laughs> huh? What did you do to have that happen? We when we got home. <laughs> no. What did you do for her to hit you? Laughing, they listen. Oh, you want to take about me? I just be like, ha ha ha, la 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 la. When they get to crying, I be mad. I just be talking, and they can't take. I'm nonchalant, and that's why I feel like God is trying to work on me with too. Stop being so locked down with your feelings and your emotions, and let a motherfucker that's loving you love you. I can honestly say I have missed over probably like 20 good females. Like I feel like wouldn't have married me. Like. I had one get on one knee and try to marry me before. Nah, nah. Went to my pastor, like, I swear to God, I'm Jesus Christ. If I'm lying, God, don't let me make a dollar tomorrow. You hear me? Or for the rest of this year, I'm not lying. Got on one knee in front of my pastor. I'm like, whoa, no, 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 no. We're not going to do all this. Get but up, at baby. the end get of the up. day, I do know that I'm a good person. I do know that every female I have dealt with, I have been brought some kind of something to the table where I can bring them up from wherever they was at. So at the end of the day, it's somebody out there that's waiting, that's getting groomed, that's getting process like I'm getting processed it's not all over the place right now and whenever we meet God bless we you wanna get married it. one day absolutely I want a million dollar wedding I'm not getting married into it that's clear because I know everybody gonna come you just said every, everybody gonna come just to why well, should everybody come to your wedding what's going on that's how they gonna be is it not angels from the sky you gonna sell pre-sales who Tickets to your Man, to your everything wedding. on me. Steaks, lamb chops, unlimited. I'm, I'm not playing. So I need a million dollar wedding. So I if I can't needs. afford a million dollar wedding, I don't need one. Okay, I, I don't need to marry you. All right, so let's talk about not three hundred to four hundred thousand. I'm talking about on your rent. Huh. If you ain't doing all that, we not doing it. So let's talk about money makers in Houston, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like there are people who make a lot of money in Houston. People do not like a lot of them to be just genuine people who are winning. Who are your three people? That's making a lot of money in Houston, but like people hate them. Other than you? Mm, people hate them. I'm not going to lie. Tara B. Hate on them. That was it. the first. Like, Shatira was the first woman to show me. Like, we was sleeping on the airbed. No cap. Showed me 760000 in 90 days with this tech shit. Like, no cap in her account. Number two, me and my boy had all these differences, but this nigga really want to see me win. Teddy, it's like, they be dry hating on bro. Teddy's the goat. Like, I don't give a Nobody got going on. I feel like my ex went double back. I told him, I don't give a f what's going on. That's not my problem. One thing about me, I'm a player. Like, and that's what people hate the most. Like, I don't give a f like, You f my partner, my cousin, my brother, my uncle. That's not my business. When it's my turn, it's my turn. And we're going to have fun. Third, somebody that's getting money in Houston. Bird, I'm your pusher. I, just said that I ain't going to lie. They be hating on my boy. Facts. They be hating on my boy. That's Went from we we started around the same time really getting some money, like bro naturally yeah don't f it like bro gonna naturally go his way, and my love.
that he'll take off his plate to make sure everybody else see. And that's the kind of person I am. So in this season, bro, I got to tie in with whites, Jews, blacks, whatever it is. So whoever is on what I'm on, I'm cool with you. If not, I don't care how long we've been friends. In this season, I'm going to go to the mountaintop, and then you're going to understand why I was acting like I was acting. Okay. So how you deal with the do you think, like, wants your head? Nigga, stop saying that. I can't get it out of my head. We finna, you going to tell me stop saying that. I had to be pregaming and lit as f*** on the way here. Like, Man, we lit. Up? We lit. This but is how a do you natural aura. Like, I'm just telling you, bro, I don't play with these I'm not playing with you. If you plotting, you feeling any kind of way, you better hang out the window with your red friend. Because I'm going to do my best shit. The I biggest. No so how care. you feel about social media? Social media is cap. These be bums. Like, for real, for real. You take them out, they can't even give you $20 on the bottle. Like, I've been there already. All these YouTube niggas, they weird as fuck. They gate in the throw orgies with young Like, I don't got time for that shit. I know everything. You, what? I know them too. From you want me to go down through that? I ain't gonna do no name. Why you think my guest selection got real swim? I ain't gonna do it. Just be weird as. That's all I'm gonna say. At the end of the day, I'm a real. I got a real long ass, and I got a lot of money. That's it. All right. Bleep so you, that out, cause I ain't gonna lie. I just that donkey talking. Let's take a shot. <laughs> Let's take a shot. <laughs> Jordan, you really recording this whole thing? What is you doing? Yeah, pay for. Hell yeah, it how depends much? on how bad I want it. Sometimes you don't got time to wait. Listen, if you take them to Steak 48, that's 345, 350. You take them to the movies, that's another 150. Oh, let's see, you might well give her the 500. Take them to the Western. It. That's them booty cheeks. I'm <laughs> this, this is gonna be my soul, the whole, whole interview, I'm telling you. Okay, so let's get back into it. All right, take a shot, nigga. Take a shot for me. Cheers, let's go. We talking about the Lord, and then you got me acting a fool. What's up? You talking about the Well, no, not at all. I love going. I'm not going to lie. I, I got to put them in everything I do so everything can be added on to me. So, Nah, this is the body in prayer, mm -hmm. Come okay. on, keep on with My your cards. Flow, I want to see your cards with these <laughs> the same. I'm ready to read me <laughs> with a stiff wig on. All right, so there is a fucking, um, somebody did swipe up and say that they would consider you a predator. What you mean, a predator? Predator. What is a predator? You know what a predator is. Child. A predator like that? A child predator? Yeah. Man, listen, let me tell you something. One thing about me, I ain't hey, never... Somebody that's under 17. Absolutely not. They was 18. Every time. Or older. Number two, I don't even take pennies off. And 500 will tell you that. They take their own pennies off. So, predator... No. Has anybody that's ever... Have you ever heard that before? I heard some bullshit. From her friend that came in the room and ate my dick, but she found out that my brother was the she was talking to, which made her try to scream something else mm -hmm. because this is who she was fucking with. Tough. But at the end of the day, you all you had to say was... Oops. No, all you had to say was, I really liked your brother. I tripped out. This was a mistake I made Oops. besides saying something crazy. So then, how do you deal with that? That's why. That's why I can ask you about the. I deal with that like, just like I deal with anything else. Go, you know, whatever you want to do, let's do it. That way. So I have a person that I know mm -hmm. who a girl basically had said on Twitter one time she exposed him. She was like, "Yeah, he." And his response was, "Tell me, you think this is negative or not?" His response was, "Let's take a lot of test tests." Like he want to get a lot, a lot of take the tests don't determine the fact. The but facts is, that an is the facts is the facts. That's definitely an ignorant response because I never would have said nothing about no. A lot of take the test. A lot of tickets don't matter because that is fake. You can you can beat them. How I know because I know somebody that did. Yes. They lied on a lot of tickets. The, the facts is the facts. With the situation that I had going on, I have to say that I locked everybody that was in my house in the garage and was upstairs for an hour with them. That's a lie. It was 15 right. people in my house. I keep a lot of people over there. So, no. You came upstairs. You came in the room with me. You ate this and you and then you got mad when you found out that everybody found out, and then my brother found out. So that's what it was. That situation is beneath me. I'm did not your worried about you. Like, did your brother feel some type of way? Huh? Did your brother feel some type of way? My brother tried to act like he didn't feel a type of way in front of me, but then I found out that he was pressing <laughs> behind me, which I told him was unplayable because all you had to do was ask the hoe. Like, and it just so now you make the hoe feel like she got something to hold on to, which will say anything. And then I'm this of this caliber, so of course they're gonna try to say anything to tarnish or tear. Bro, I have never, literally, every female that you know, 
swipe up. Have them swipe up on this right here. Any woman, I'm looking at the camera, ever laid down in the bed with me, we're not going to post you, we're not going to say nothing about you. DM my boy and tell him, have you ever felt comfortable? Have I ever took your penis out? Or did you take them out? Let me know. Let him know. Let me know. Post that part. <laughs> or was that <laughs> federal? That's Let what you tell him. Let him know that too. He might got a few with me right now because I'm looking for a wife. Type shit. Okay, so we put it like that. All right, so something happened. Ah. Let's say what you got to say, brother. I'm, I'm all right with everything. Okay, so I feel like I've always been very, I'm, I'm into marketing and shit, so I like mm -hmm. her business. I do watch her business. Like, there are certain mm -hmm. people in Houston, I do watch their business on some, like, I got to get to that level type Never got to give a shit. Uh, That's another people. one. We would sleep on the air bed. I first got in touch with her, and that motherfucker made four hundred and some thousand dollars off. Show exactly. me a whole different way. Like and her marketing is cold. These can't take none from these females. These females shitting on these these days for sure, for sure. Nah, like I'm talking about for sure, for sure. You can't. You got to get a product. Right now, I'm working on a skincare line. Well, I can Bro. really get my skin. To, I mean, uh, we don't got to talk. Come on, keep it going. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Because yeah, I'm yeah. keeping my baby pregnant Type right now. To do that. You know All right, so I basically feel like I realize a lot of people just. There was a situation that happened recently, and I'm just going to keep it like that, where I feel like that was my first time. I knew who Cat Stacks was from DMs and things like mm -hmm. that, like talking about the show and like that, and like support. Good morning. But I met her in person, and I feel like there was a situation where like I was in a car with people I feel like started to dry hate. And I feel like I don't know her enough, but I feel like because I know like I know that is good and I really be like watching how she move her marketing. I spoke up on it. So I feel like why do people feel like, I feel like a lot of women dry hate. I feel like there's not women support for real. I feel like women hate women more than that they hate. women shit is cap. Cap. That's every woman want to be the next woman that's doing better than them. Hose At the end of the reason. day, all you have to do these days, all you need is a product as a woman with 15, 20,000 followers. You get a thousand people to pay $50. It's $50,000 a month. You're right. But they can't do that. They can't do that. But you want to chop off the next person here because and I her feel, business I might feel be doing a little better than you. It was like, right I feel like. I'm in the car, like, taking up for this girl. I don't even know they were like that, but it's like, that's, why that's dry hating. I don't hating. really f with a lot of people right now. I f with whoever f with me. And everybody that's f with me got something going on. So at the end of the day, if you don't got nothing going on, you're going to feel a type of way. I got old friends right now like, bro, you don't f with me. You don't females and all. Damn, I didn't you bougie again. I'm not bougie. I'm just trying to get to that next level. So at the end of the day, if I got to leave you to get all the way to the mountaintop, I'll send you an elevator later. Let me go ahead and get these millions. Let me go ahead and get this Netflix deal. Let me go ahead and get this Paramount TV deal. Let me yeah. go ahead and get this two, whatever the f deal I got to get to give me commas, commas, commas. Then I can send your mama, mama, mama and pick her ass up too and bring her up top with you. Like, and it is what it is. And that's just why I'm at 2024. So, then so at the end of the day, if you mad, stay mad. If you glad, stay glad. And if you really support me, I'll support you. So how you feel about niggas you like used to work? How you feel about the word motion? Motion. Uh, money in motion. Shout out to my guy Reese. My boy got some going on no cap listen man i hate the word if motion. you have emotion motion is not something that is elaborated on or that you have dialogue on motion is something that's action to me like if you have emotion it's something gonna be shown in you that you are doing something that's different from the mediocre play from the play regular standard come on tell me if it's motion or not i'm gonna give you three scenarios all right come on and if y'all can help me with some other scenarios that's better than mine y'all can time in I go to the club every weekend. I pop two to three bottles of Blanco tequila. I got motion. You don't have motion. Blanco is the cheap end. Excuse me. No. Send that send out. Okay. Let me know you got mocha. I popped five yesterday at Southside, and we had a good time. So what else? F*** that shit out. Come on. Anyways, y'all. Second uh, thing. Y'all got to think of one. Give me a good one. Y'all can collab on it. Okay. This Come to that mic, though. Speak Come to that on. Mic. All right, so my second one is I <laughs> I am 32 years old and I only 19 year old girls. That's having motion? Mm -hmm. That's not having motion. That's just question it. Wait, is that the game still? Yeah, for real. Cause that's Are we just, still playing the game? That's just normal. That's what the do. 19 and 20 year old is going to suck. Yeah, that's what they want. They want a that got a little, a little popping. That's what they want. I done curved so many, so how many can you think I can curve? Like, what, what, uh, Kobe said this, you curve 500 women downstairs in the lobby. And then another 15 get in your room and be sneaking when you get in there. Who is you to say, I can't do it? Type shit. That's what these stop. When they really like you, they gonna fire, pop out where you at. They gonna do the most come looking like God's yeah. grace. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they want that. You ready? They might have a $20 in their purse. 
They might only have a $20 dress on, but us that's what I don't really understand about in 2024. You all right with laying with a $20, but she got you got to have $100,000 to your name. You got to have a $25,000 quarter. Yeah, you got to have a $30,000 Cuban on. You got to have $15,000 earrings on. You got to have a $10,000 fit on, but you asleep with you only got a $20 dress on. Like yeah, I'm not just with building If I'm going to build you, you got to already be built to a certain extent. You got to already be having some kind of goals. You got to already be having some kind of drive some kind of something going on in order for me to be intrigued to want to invest not only in you but invest in us to make sure what we got going on is okay the ex i was with when i lost 107,000 in one night gave me a dub like go I've spend seen. this dub but this all we got so if you spend this dub and you lose this dub we're gonna be evicted so i went in here in four or five days had the whole hundred and something back in my lap and here go your extra 10. And let me buy you some flat irons too. He go ten more on the flat irons, and you gonna make thirty thousand on these flat irons. So that's the difference of when I'm saying on build the bitch. T T A T T A T T. That's what we do that's around shot. here. You ready? T. You know. We got the last motion. Go ahead. She's trying to think. Yeah, just talk. I'm trying to see how I can put this because I didn't. I didn't see it. I told you. If I'm you want to say it, I can be ready for you. It's okay, but try. Okay. Try. Um. A, a b just say they got motion, right? By the b they fuck with, but the b ain't giving them nothing. But like, just cause of the b they with, they got motion. Hey, listen, oh, wait, any wait, female, wait, I know, let me write, let me write, let me write, let me write, let me write. Who I gotta think about? Who I gotta think about? Who I think about? Ooh, think, think, bitch, think, help me think, man. You know who you talking about too, so don't be messing with it. Uh, know who I'm talking about? I'm tired of you, tired ass. I'm trying to go celebrity. Oh, you bet he ass. You mess. Of you tired you ass you. Instead of acting like you got that <laughs> And that ain't giving you nothing Okay, so I might you calling me Wait. for $40 on cash Can I talk to my I gotta talk to my team real quick I gotta talk to my team real quick Fuck with you Hey, hold on, pause Okay, so your ex Is mad at me right now Why? Because he kicked her out the house That's them booty cheeks Listen They Over mad there. at me Over right She on, mad on, at me baby. right now She is Why? Yeah, because some booty so it is what it is. All I want is my extra dreads to get, make my shit a little longer. And I'm tired of these little, she got my dreads and my fucking social security card. This is all I want you to do. This show to do for me. Tag her with her Instagram disabled. Because that crazy demonic ass. Demonic is crazy. Demonic is for sure. How Them demons. Why do you I can, do I'm all spiritual. That? Brother, I can see. She not happy. That's her favorite she just rapper. Money. Do that. I'm sorry, baby. You can rap, cap, cap, <laughs> whatever. That is not of God. For sure. So at the end of the day, I pray with him. That's how serious I am. I don't love no, th like I've been on Chief Keep since a long time ago. He made a song called Love No Thought. That is my partner. Like Lauren, I want the best for her. I want to see her win. Like at the end of the day, you got that start talking to they talk to that's under the bridge. So at the end of the day, if you talking to of that caliber, evidently I did something right. So I appreciate that, but I don't appreciate the, the herpes part. Because now you cannot call so me. You when you started for real? I put that on my daughter. Because I was, I was listen, told listen, that listen, when, I, okay, don't lie, hold on, I'm going to tell the truth. I was told that when you saw that, you said something to her. No, I didn't say nothing directly to her at the exact time, but when I seen it, I was in jail. So I was in Louisiana, and then we got iPads down there, so somebody can send you a picture. They send me a picture and say, look what your girl doing. I sent the emoji back like, God is good. But then when I heard that she was actually f I know for sure with Lauren, Lauren want to be a celebrity. She done told me this a million times. She will do whatever it takes to be on Love & Hip Hop Houston. She will do whatever it takes to be on Love & Hip Hop Utah. You understand what I'm saying? She will do whatever it takes. So at the end of the day, if you are okay with taking five, ten thousand 10000 here and there, when I was spending that, we spent 40000 on Rayo on Rodeo. Like, bitch, stop playing. We spent over $100,000 in three months, like, just whatever, like, on whatever. So if you are okay with... Risking your health from my, what somebody saying? They saying that was a publicity stunt. The man just saying, I don't believe that. <clears throat> I'm it not trying to hear that stunt. shit. It wasn't publicity. It was no publicity, son. You that got a boy you on the top of that <laughs> now and then. You know what I'm saying? When they break out, he even rich, with the he money, ain't gotta deal with it. It don't matter. Yeah, he don't gotta deal with it. You gotta take them pills though. So at the end of the day, if you are okay with laying down and taking that risk, I'm not okay with laying down and taking that risk about these nuts I gotta carry for the rest of my life. And it's nothing against her. I want everybody to know I'm not salty. I'm not bitter. Did you did you want to marry her? Me and Lauren at one time definitely would get married. Do you love her still? No, not in love with her. I put this on Jesus Christ on God's grace, like.
God forbid, right? If she die tomorrow, would you go to her funeral? If she die tomorrow, I would not. I put that on God. God take my life, take don't let me make no money. I wouldn't. Okay, the mic. If she die right, though, if, if she die right, right, right now, if she die right now, yes, I would be like. He yes, I, but I, 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 no, no, I let me she tell you. Let me tell you like, why though. Let me tell you why. So when Blue Mama died, she went to his mama funeral while we was together and told me I couldn't come. If you're in a relationship with a female and y'all are being super serious and you're spending all this money making sure y'all okay, and she tell you that you cannot go to her ex-mama funeral because you don't want to feel him to feel disrespected, what does that tell you? Be real. Talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Come on, shut up. Exactly. So I'm not salty. I'm not bitter. trying to shout make out to Blue. Advocate. Get the money, rap, do whatever. Okay, I, it's so cool. Let's, let's do Listen to what I'm saying, though. Let's salute you getting you some money in Houston and being able to keep getting you some money. But I just want them to know they're not the only ones getting no money. Not the only ones can take care of not the only ones buy a You know the jail people boss up on you? Who? People. I never concern myself with that kind of shit because bossing up on me is when I get out, I boss up on you. That's all. I, what's up, that's my people. Okay, so but I back like, to this situation. Let me go on. No, this in the I, bud. I went through her phone and this <laughs> had a picture with this <laughs> with some money on his head, like in the fucking uh restroom that I'm and paying the rent for. It's okay, man. One thing I know, it's I, okay. I listen. I had <laughs> over hundred women on Lauren. Like I cannot be mad. Oh, like at the end of the day, every time I cheated, I bought a person, gave up five, six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars. Shut up. Yeah, she be quiet for a little bit, and then tomorrow she mad again. So then you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep on, keep on, keep on. Which is okay. I'm not mad at that. The real reason I really just kind of like you tripped out is because you beat your girl up for coming to my BNB like on some weird shit. Like why would you be? So y'all just be bitches. Who? I don't be bitches. You be a bitch. I didn't be a bitch. I rough your ass up if you roughing me up. Sir, that is, I saw the Sir, pictures. you not finna put your motherfucking hands on me, and you think you not finna get ragged all around. Okay, I so don't okay. do this. Let's, let's That's fuck, not what I do. I don't do shit. this. I, finna, I don't do that. I don't no. I whack you a little bit, and I attack you a little bit. That's it. <laughs> let's just stop the bullshit. Let's get straight to the point. Get to the point. Okay, I saw the picture with Elle, where you had her bruised up, had a gash on her head, all that shit. You did that. No, yes. I didn't beat her down. I Let me tell you what happened with that gas on her head. Elle was holding on to the door of my car, and I was driving she off. And fell. She fell and bust her motherfucking head on the ground. That's what happened. Slipped and fell. Would not hold my. Would not let my door go. Her mama tell you this. Facts. I got the message. But her mama like not the most person you. You know her mama. Her mama put me in the headlock before and they jumped me. But what you are know you her mama. About? So you know her mama. I know her mama. Like you but know her mama. But her mama, I helped. I helped Brandy throughout everything the whole time we was together. Like I used to give Brandy more money than Lauren used to give Brandy. Like I used okay, to so take care of Brandy. This. Okay, let's let's what dive into some about? other shit. Okay, so then we, we talk, talk about, about the... KB too. KB, my dog. Shout out to KB. All like, right, we don't want no problems, brother. Pay for that nursing school, brother. Y'all got money on. We having a little fun. So we talk. I met Lauren at D Bar. I looked down, she was looking up. I had a shirt on so, that said, what are you doing Let me tell you what I now? thought was weird. Let me tell you what I thought was weird. What? I feel like her and Visha like this, not in like how Visha was on your post. What? Her and Visha like this and Visha, Visha like this. Visha is family. It's not family like that. Family for real. Family for real? I never did nothing but with But I didn't did. like that because they're like this and you the nigga that did that shit. You should not be your Visha is mind. like, she know what's up though. Cause even no, okay. I'm not. Also, I let's clarify never something. A bad okay, nigga to Nucci. You let's, know who Nucci is, Visha. Listen to this video. Who the fuck beat her ass? Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. I'll like, keep it one thousand. Like, we not finna do all this. Okay, so then let's, this let's put it in perspective. No, you I mean, need to bring me back for part two because I'm telling you, I go down. We're here though. We don't need a part we're two. We're here. I feel like now we're, we're both receipts. to the same level. Where it's like, okay, fuck, let's ask a question for real. Okay, so with the Visha situation, right? I feel like this. I saw the comment when Visha laughed at emoji because your caption on your post. It was That's, just funny. It was messy. It was funny. It was messy. I feel like Cat Williams today. No. You want cool. me to go down in detail? I, bitch, you want me to go in I, detail? I didn't give you my point what I'm saying right Bro, now, right? because I'll go in detail right about before, what she did Right to before me. I hit you up, Nobody right? don't want to hear my side now, of the story. I'm about to hear your side of the story, but let me tell you my situation. So I going. make sure when you answer, before you answer, I want to make sure I get my piece. I'm just before saying. I met you again, I'm going to say I met you a long time ago, but I met you properly on that rooftop. over this shit. Like, we talk about something that it sounds well, like I can't I'm say my salty. piece. You want to say your piece? Let me say my piece. All right, come okay, on. Okay, I met you on that rooftop. Okay, cool. I text Shay and I was like, what's his Instagram? Because I remember I was like, hey, cool. He was a cool nigga. And I remember I met you a long time ago. I did not know who you was. I did not know okay. you was the ex. I knew who you was, but I didn't know you was that attached okay. to that shit. Okay. Right before that, right after that, me and old girl had just fell out. So even you been on this show right now today, Why it looks... Why did fall out? Because she came on my show, he did an interview about that, did an interview, which I asked her a question about the shit, and basically he kicked her out the house. He saw the interview. 
So right now, you asked about the shit about me. No, I asked about the shit about what she, her nigga. What's that? Herpes. Yeah, and Herpes. what she said? She said that she don't give a fuck about all that shit. Yeah, yeah. She she dis, she basically disrespected his wife. <sighs> so now what looks weird is that the fact that me on the phone, when you had said what you said, and I was like, hold on, I ain't know that. Cause I want to make sure you know I I really didn't know that shit. So I want to ask you these questions, but I want to make sure is, like uh, what you funny. <laughs> What's up? You knew what the fuck. I didn't on. know that, okay. bro. I met you through Judy. Okay. Okay. Know nothing else about you. Okay. I knew you do a boat party and that's it. Okay, no problem. Don't do me like that. I'm just fucking with you. Come on, we like, don't do it. me like that. We rapping and capping, but come on, man. Okay, cool. Like, so tell your piece. I feel like at this point, I ain't gonna lie. We did have an interview, and I, I, feel I, like I, I at could this tell you today. It had hella views. Somebody, you are look on, the, you on the internet. You look like a abuser right now. When you you look like a what? You on the internet right now looks like a abuser. So I feel like she has said that narrative about you. I up. don't care what I look like, because at the end of the day, I don't got nothing to prove to these people. She knows she didn't slap me way more than I slapped her. But what you be? She knows she didn't be down. I have never fought ball fist hit her. Ever oh, in my whole yeah. life, in seven years that me and her been talking, I have never ball fist hit her. Now you talking about slap her maybe a few times? You because Lauren, everybody know Lauren. She do, kicks, yeah. she bites, she scratches, she don't do, she don't fuck. Yeah. Like fuck, are you talking about? And every time she get mad, if you don't bow down to what she's saying, which I know she's bowing down to right now, with what he's saying. Where you at? If you dead happy, why do you gotta lash out on people? Hey, bro, you ain't that. You, if you dead you happy, me. if you hey. dead happy, why are you lashing out on people? You are going through it. You are feeling like demonic. I feel your spirit. It was entwined for seven years. I'm a spiritual person, and she know it. Like, I feel your spirit. It's far away from God right now. It's far away from God. Are right you now. saying that based on? No, I'm not saying that based on. Saying that off about laying with her for seven months. And down over a thousand you love her. Years. No, it's not about loving her because once you love somebody, you care about their well being. It's not about being in love with you. I care about your well being. So if you don't care about your well being, now I'm concerned about you. Because what are you doing? That's not you. Why? You don't delete your Instagram. You don't delete all social media. That's that nigga. Hey, man, make it make sense. Who else is it? Her you mental, told me in jail health, when you sent me $100, health, not mental health, not 90 days ago. No, that was like four months ago. You sent me a hundred dollars in jail. You told me you like, yeah, I'm happy. This nigga woo woo woo. He give me five thousand, ten thousand here and that woo woo. Big celebrity. I'm finna woo woo woo. But you playing with your health. Like I don't got time for that. How can I be okay with laying with you and I know you possibly could be laying with somebody that got herpes? I love my somebody life. Somebody your supposed to be a real. You not hurt. Oh Jesus Christ! Not a little bit. Not even a. But can you? Let me tell you why. Because we left agreeing to. Go our separate ways. It's not about that. I got four, five. So you got a jail and you saw that damn my all sipping with a young boy. You ain't feeling that way. It's not even a boss up because show me a million dollars, like I would have gave you. Show and me. And I say boss, I'm you right, you right. I don't want to put boss up. No, like it's that. not even a. You but worded it right. It's okay. On a social me media a, scale. Send me a million. Show me a million dollars in your account, and I'll tip my head off. Other than that, you going through it. You fighting to get what you got to get. You fighting to be a multi, a little celebrity. You like you fighting, like you're gonna get pregnant. That's what I predict. This year in 2024, she's gonna be pregnant, and she wanna go viral. Like this, is what she wanna do at the end of the day. So that's okay, my I friend. was told also about y'all that y'all used to go on live all the time. That's my friend. Like at the end of the day, I want her to. But be. did y'all not used to go live all the time? Yes, we used to. What sure. was that about? Were y'all doing YouTube shit? Like what was that? No, we were literally going to start vlogging. I had got the cameraman. Like that's what we was gonna do. I had hired Slater. Christian before he had got big and started doing. I come home, he doing all these people shit at night. That's cool, but before then it was just us. You was hired to me. I was paying you a thousand dollars a week. This what it was. Regardless of the situation, basically this is a person who I feel like I tried to produce. I did produce podcasts. Lauren was one of those people. Mm -hmm. People forget. I remember that, I used like, to drop her off to this building. I, when I came there this time, I'm like. Bro, this shit is crazy. I yeah. used to drop her here for y'all at shows. You was on her ass. You was on their ass. So you know, so you know. So take her for me, take her for me, take her for me. So basically, it's more so like people forget that I could be your friend, be cool as fuck. Right now, tomorrow, we can, tomorrow, you was tonight. You ass one time on FaceTime. You bitch, I don't give a fuck. Y'all need to be on bitch. time. Yeah, you bitch. on I don't think I said bitch. You a motherfucking liar. I don't think I, I said bitch. I said, why the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I think her like, why the fuck is this nigga talking about bitch? You want me coming in? I don't think I said bitch. 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 I don't think I
Did we not get on the HOV? Or we would have no, been I'm 30 not, more I, minutes. I'm late. not questioning none of this shit. She said, know. get over. I said, bitch, it ain't no let out shit. Let off a hill crop. I'm bad. I go out. You're communicative, though, and I appreciate that. Ooh, I feel like cool. we're basically like, but this is just the episode. More yeah. so, so I'm giving you something for 100% free. Yeah. If I'm telling you that, hey, we do need these agendas every week. We do need to know what you're talking about when you talk to these people. Because yeah. what people think with what I do is easy. What I do is not easy. It's Everybody not easy. can't come and do this shit. It's not what I, I'm fighting a lot of I'm fighting Jason Lees. I'm fighting the Funny Marcos. I'm mm-hmm. fighting the Casa Knights. Like, it's hard to get up there. I'm battling that shit. So, no, like, people bullshit. think, like, because they see me, like, oh, I'm just be better than him. But, bitch, you're going to be better than them people, too? I'm not up there yet. So, I feel like the problem was, I feel like a lot you're of people. You're on your way, though. I like nah, this facts. setup. I appreciate that. Take it that way, for sure. Thank you. Keep praying for your prayer is strong. I feel it. But I don't play. She, <laughs> yeah, she yeah. Know. Slide me she that motherfucker. I know tonight. what God to do. That's hey, when we done, saying. hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. When as soon as we done, you going home. Hey, can you just pray for us? Yeah, we can pray we before we go prayer. to look. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta kiss the like, yellow before they close. In the situation, oh yeah. So in the situation, I'm got you. So in the situation, I feel like based off like I still on business. Long story short, I still on business. I didn't make you pay for the lights, the rent, the cameras, the time, the audio, the editing. Mm-hmm. You don't pay for none of that. Just pay for your hard drive. That's all you spend money on. Pay for your little decorations. How much is that? $200 maybe. Mm-hmm. Mostly. So it's just more so like, not this person who didn't stand on business. He ended up buying fake views, fake likes, all that shit. Who mm-hmm. gave my account to I did the Megan Stallion Cypher. If I get my YouTube ability, I'll get paid for that no more. That's the one thing still attached to my name with that girl. That's how I make my living. Who? The Cypher shit with Megan Stallion. That's all I got. Not all I got, but that's all I got to the YouTube shit. Mm-hmm. So it's more so like he paid for fake shit. You know when you pay for fake shit on social media, it gets your shit deleted if mm-hmm. they catch you. He lied, lied, lied. So now he's saying I stole money from him because I said I can't do business with you. Because you lied about buying shit to my page. That would have yeah. fucked me. That's how I pay my rent. That's how I live. That's Bitch, mm-hmm. I live off YouTube. I don't have a job. So I just feel like I feel like right now I'm being trolled by somebody who's like been this fake ass nerd to about like, oh, he's a thief, he's this and that. How do I deal with that? Hey, man, I just went through the same shit. They can tell them go fuck themselves. And you talking up with God. At the end of the day, it says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So it's nothing. It's not said, it didn't say that no weapon would form, wouldn't form, meaning that they wouldn't try to make accusations of certain shit. It just said it wouldn't prosper. It won't take your YouTube channel down. It won't take your business under. It won't not let you pay your rent. That's all it means. So at the end of the day, if you seek ye, again, first the kingdom of heaven and all his rights and everything else, God's going to give it to you. Even when the bullshit people come around, even when they get to trying to try you, pull your coattail, it's nothing they'll be able to do. And that's why I'm at with it. That's why my energy is so pure. That's why nobody really can just, like, get under my skin no more. I don't care what you do. You can suck 15,000 dicks on Instagram. That don't got nothing to do with me. Because when you was with me, you was sucking one dick. Okay, cool. What's your Instagram you know what name? Saying? I follow you, man. I'm a what Scorpio, man. Trilla underscore motherfucking dang, man. The biggest in the city. How you feel about you your know? experience on the After Zardy? Man, I like the After Zardy. I got to come back for part two because I got some more shit to say. Uh, yeah, we're going to read them comments first. Yeah, yeah read the comments, comments and let's comments. see what they say. Hey, do me a favor. Don't be arguing in the comments. Who? Like, I won't on. say nothing back at all. Yeah, don't be arguing in the comments. Man, I'm very, very, if very. If you let me steer a narrative, you're safe. Say no more. For shit, shot. We good. <laughs> Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. Come on. I already got one pulled up in my cup. Yeah. Okay, well, everybody come take, come, take take come take a shot. Come take a shot. Come take a shot. Come take a shot. Oh, that whole bottle gone. I told y'all. That's that booty meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a shot. Cheers, man. Everybody can't take that one bitch. Bye, y'all. Oh, shit, I gotta go. Bye, y'all. On the way to the party. Excuse us for the toddy. Had to pick up a Mari and cop some Bacardi. Bought tennis boys, some shots, so I'm starting to get high You ain't the five, bitch, I think not You can't stand in this spot Oh, I'll to the DJ This a song you finna play Let me grab that mic Oh, I'm feeling right Ain't no worries, ain't no stress tonight We a little drunk, so be polite Staring at me, oh, what a light I guess you got some stage right DJ Turn these lights on loud Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow So DJ Turn these lights on loud Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow We gon' go all night We gon' go all night Don't care we do it right Who cares we do it right We gon' live our life We gon' live our life I ain't no sweet tonight I ain't no sweet tonight
know And you feeling yourself, you trying to let me know What you all about, trying to figure me out Talking about you on the one nine at 69 Club clubs I had to, leaving my friends for you What you really trying to do, I'm not really good at taboo Dancing for too long Sponsored like ping pong So before the night ain't wrong Better make a move on this song So DJ, turn these lights on low Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow So DJ, turn these lights on low Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow We gon' go all night We gon' go all night Don't care we do it right Who cares we do Sleeves and I